What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, with a little bit of a unique episode in that um, due to some tech support issue or technical issues, this episode is going to be a little bit different where I don't have the usual intro music, cover art, um, background music or anything like that. So I'm jumping right into the episode. Um, so to preface all the content I'm going to review, uh, last week my computer did take a nosedive and the cost of repairs would be more than it's worth to, than just buying a new computer and putting that money to that. So I did end up ordering a new computer, so I'm just waiting for it to arrive. So um, by the time you guys hear this episode, I should have everything set up already and good to go. But um, if not, in any case, by next week, the everything should be good to go and we'll get you back to the usual audio quality and video and all of that stuff. But I still wanted to get some reviews out just to stay on top of things and not have stuff pile up too much. Um, so to start it off, I kind of wanted to give an update that I'm still watching The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon, but I'm going to refrain from updates until the season is done just because it's kind of getting to a point of being so-so. There's a lot of back and forth still with uh, Laurent slowly learning about who he is, Daryl kind of getting angry with everyone just because of the way he is, and then slowly learning about the nun's past and her boyfriend and her Laurent being her nephew, I guess, and all of that. So um, it seems like an okay show, but it's kind of getting um, to be a little bit stale. So in the interest of it being a Walking Dead show, that's why I'm still continuing to watch it. But I'm kind of holding off a final judgment until we get the full season. So I just want to give that update. Um, I did have a chance to watch Stargate SG-1 and finish up season 10. So now that I've finished that up, I can confidently say that I have watched the entire run of Stargate SG-1, especially in order, but there's no missing episodes or content or anything like that. I've seen all of it, um, so I've been able to see the rise and fall of the Gould, rise and fall of the Replicators, um, the Asgard, the relationship with the Tok'ra, the Ori, uh, learning more about the Ancients and all of that. Um, so overall, a good show. Like I mentioned last week, I kind of did hope and want a little bit more as far as uh, background on the Ori and the Ancients and a little bit more of like their origin story, no pun intended. Um, so even like another few episodes or um, like a season just around that. Granted, they could have sent the uh, sent SG-1 back in time to spend time with the Ancients and, you know, be the cause of that rebellion, but that would have been kind of... Um, that was kind of like doing the same thing over and over again with uh, what they did with the Gould and the ZPM and all that. But it could have been also one of those things where they send Colonel O'Neill back in time because he has the ancient gene and spend a little bit more time on the grandfather paradox of the reason he has that gene is because he's his own grandfather and he's his own descendant kind of thing, create that paradox or something like that. Or because he has his, the relationship or, you know, he goes back in time into a Sarah Connor, um, Kyle relationship where he meets his own father, but doesn't know it. And, um, or he meets his own, you know, ancestor, doesn't realize it. And he, uh, ancestor falls in love with the, um, whoever he falls in love with and their lineage goes, flows on through to Colonel O'Neill or something like that. So it would have been nice to see a little bit more of that. But, um, now that, um, the season is done and I've had a chance to also watch Stargate Continuum and Arc of Truth to round out the Gould story arc and the Ori story arc. I'm actually going to give Stargate Atlantis another shot. So I'm in the middle of season two, I think. So I'm going to continue from there and basically just see how it goes. Um, keep watching them, see if I can get through, you know, just go season by season, see if I can get through the show. Because based on my Amazon Prime history, it looks like I got f as far as into season three. Um, so I don't, I honestly don't remember too much of the show aside from the Wraith. I think there was a guy called Michael that they tried to save from being a Wraith, but he went back and became their leader or something like that. Um, and then they built, I think they built a string of Stargates between, um, Peg the Pegasus Galaxy and Earth so they could get between the two faster and not rely on the ZPM. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to give that another shot, see how it goes, and uh, provide updates as I do that. Um, I also had a chance to watch the season finale of Ahsoka, which in general it was fine. Did not anything generally positive or negative to say about it. Uh, mostly because I did, I kind of thought the beginning and ending of the episode were okay, but the middle part was really good, um, especially with all the battles and fighting with the stormtroopers and uh, Morgan Elsbeth uh, fighting with Ahsoka, um, Ezra sneaking onto the ship, learning that Sabina has force powers, I guess, which was kind of weird too. But then from there, like the reunion between Ezra and Hera was fine. But they didn't really talk, show, like, have them talk about what happened to everybody else. We have um, Anakin mysteriously showing up at the end of it. But the highlight of the episode for me was when um, Balin is shown standing in front of a statue that looks just like the father from the Mortis trilogy. And then the statue next to him was of the son. So part of me got to thinking if they're going to have a, a, um, a season two for Ahsoka and deal with a live-action Mortis um, relationship that the reason Balin was so interested in that planet was because that was a um, nexus in the Force to get them to the father, son, and daughter, or at least what happened to the daughter for the rise in the dark side, and deal with some of that, maybe deal with the aftermath, maybe the Emperor found out about it, or read all the reports and decided to investigate for himself. So... That was kind of intriguing, so we'll see what happens, but uh, Balin and his apprentice, um, Ahsoka and Sabine, are all trapped on that same planet together, so we'll see what happens. Maybe um, Anakin is going to be the, take the place of the father and have Balin and his apprentice on one side, and then Ahsoka and Sabine on the other side and keep the planet, or put, uh, to put everything in back in balance that way. So I'm kind of more intrigued in the future of that stuff than I was in the finale, so there is that, but... It rounded out okay. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. And then it also sets a little bit more up with the Thrawn stuff, I guess that he could potent that Thrawn could potentially use the night or the night witches to talk to Balin or vice versa to help bring them back and help the Empire regain power. And then you have you know Hera and the rebels um, now fighting them or something like that. And then to round out this particular episode, um, I'm now done with the second chapter or second episode in Doom 2, the Plutonia Experiment. So we're done with, I guess, the Earth levels and we're now on our way to the spaceport and going to Hell. Or sorry, the Jupiter levels, I guess. So now we're going to make our way through to Hell by going to the spaceport on Earth. So um, overall, it's still a very interesting game. It is uh, randomly challenging, so it's kind of a mix between easy levels and hard levels, but they're all very well designed. So that last level in the second episode where you get the BFG is very challenging because you have those flamethrowing demons or whatever, and then it's a big maze of doorways and triggers and things like that. So to get to the yellow key to escape and to turn the two switches is kind of... Um, it is, it is a bit of a thinker, so you have to remember where you're going and which trigger opens which door and all of that. So now that I've been able to get through that, I'm continuing my prog my, uh, gameplay through all of that. So that's all there is for this week's episode. So as far as next week goes, now that we're done with Ahsoka and Stargate, um, I'm going to continue, like I said, I'm going to continue watching The Walking Dead, um... Um, and then also, I, I've, um, if you're a Disney Plus sub subscriber, the new version or the 2023 version of Haunted Mansion is now streaming. So you can watch that. So for next week, I'll have a review of that. Um, Loki Season 2 started this week, so I'll have a chance to watch that. So depending on when I record next week, I'll either have the first episode or the first two episodes to review. Um, and then I'll continue my Doom 2 gameplay. I'm going to continue or I'm going to resume watching Stargate Atlantis. So um, look out for all of that next week. Um, and as I mentioned, I anticipate by next week, I should have my new computer up and running. So I'll be able to resume the usual, uh, quality of, um, audio and video and everything, but I still wanted to get this episode out to get the usual reviews, um, out for everybody. So that's all there is for this particular episode. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, 
uh, want to support the show, subscribe to all the content, get past posts and all of that, everything can be found on the website at headphonesneal.reviews. But that's all there is for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.